Hey everybody, Monty Miller, Special Right Triangles. Let's get down and dirty. So last week was a skill builder week. This is a down and dirty week, okay? And sometimes when we're in a hurry, we just write SRT for Special Right Triangles, okay? All right, so let's get started. First of all, turn around to the back wall and see that giant green triangle. Okay, we've got to learn some new vocabulary. Okay, the first vocabulary is the reference angle. Okay, and we're going to call the reference angle in this case A. If this is the reference angle, okay, then across from the reference angle is called the opposite side. Then we have this word called adjacent. Does anybody actually know what the word adjacent means? And in class, pause, talk, see if anybody actually knows. And then across from the 90 degree is what's called the hypotenuse. Everybody writes hypotenuse. Okay, adjacent. In math, adjacent means next to. We're right next to each other. But it's confusing because the hypotenuse is adjacent also, but the hypotenuse is its own little world. Okay, so we're going to learn this, and then we're going to make sure that we can use our new special right triangle identities and shortcuts because we don't want to use the Pythagorean theorem any more than we have to. All right, so let's get started. Mr. Miller's handing you out, handing out a worksheet okay and on this sheet you're going to take notes so we already have this written out reference draw an arrow to the opposite define adjacent and then hypotenuse is across from the 90 degrees all right so this is your sheet that you're going to work on and here we go okay we need to know by the end of this week hypotenuse opposite side based on the reference angle and the adjacent side depending on the reference angle all right so i want you using angle a as the reference, we can name the sides of this triangle, okay? So, in class, you're going to be doing that here. Pause the video and write it down. If this is where we're starting, what do we call this side? What do we call this side? And what's always across from the ha, the, the ha, ha? What's across from the 90? All right. So, spoiler alert, pause the video if you need to, here we go. The hypotenuse, the opposite side, the adjacent side. All right, so now we've written it, it's on your notes, okay, boom, boom. All right, now let's think about this equilateral triangle, okay. Oop, I forgot one part, didn't I? I was supposed to click here. Okay, <laughs> whoopsie. All right, now, equilateral triangle. We saw a couple weeks ago, Mr. Miller busted it in half, okay? When we bust it in half, we create a short leg, a long leg, and the hypotenuse. And the reason it's a hypotenuse is because when we draw this line, this altitude, It creates a 90 degree angle. Across from the 90 is the hypotenuse. Okay, all right. Now we're going to label it again. Yes, we're going to do the same thing. We had a 30, 60, 90 because this was equilateral. This was divided in half. 30, 30, 60, 60. So this is where we got the 30, 60, 90 triangle from. Using angle A as the reference, we can name the sides of the triangle. So, yes, in your notes, do it again. Okay? The only way to get these vocabulary words in our head is to use them. 
write them. Okay, so chant. What's this one called? Across from the ninety. Across from the ninety. What's it called? All right. Good. Okay, that's our hypotenuse. Okay, using angle A, remember, A is the reference. Across from A is going to be the opposite. And then what's next to, that's not the hypotenuse, is the adjacent. All right, so now we've asked you to see it, write it, we're going to start to use it. Okay, all right. The expert in everything was once a beginner. How true. Nice job. All right. So let's look at our 45, 45, 90s. Okay. Now, 45, 45, 90, no matter what size we make them, they're all the same, aren't they? They're similar. And they're similar by the angle, angle rule, right? Okay. So, we had a square, and we cut it in half, and we shrunk it down, right? 45, 45, 90. We had the square, we divided it in half, okay, boom, boom, all right? Now, 45, 45, 90. Remember the other day, Mr. Miller, we went a 1, 1, we did the Pythagorean theorem, the hypotenuse squared, and we got 2h squared. We took the square root, we took the square root, and this was square root 2. Okay, then we got our little cheat sheet, right? So that all we had to do, instead of doing the Pythagorean theorem over and over and over, is we multiply by radical 2 to go this way, right? But if we go the other way, if we come back, then we divide. Okay? Well, we've got to make sure that we can practice that. Okay? All right. So let's get started on 45, 45, 90. Okay? If we have a leg and we want to go toward the hypotenuse, multiply. Okay? So this is just going to be 9 times radical 2. And we leave it like that because the square root of 2 is not a perfect number. It goes on and on and on forever. Alright? Then, if we want to come back, right? We want to come back What's the opposite of multiply? Divide. Okay? So here, we're going back toward a leg. We must divide. So, just 8 radical 2 over radical 2. Okay? Now, it's neat if you simplify that because we know that the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 2 is 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. So, it's 8. Okay, so now, on your note sheet, make sure you filled that out. Boom, boom. The most important part is the notes. Multiply toward the hypotenuse, divide toward a leg. Multiply toward the hypotenuse, divide from the leg. All right, so, what's that? Yep, I didn't fill it all in, did I? Okay. This was a square, so 9 and 9. This was a square, 8 and 8. All right? So, pause the video if you need to. Make sure you fill that out because we will be doing these practice problems. Okay? All right. Now, pause the video and everybody try these two problems. Go. Go. All right, don't forget, pause the video if you're not done. Okay, we're going to divide when we go toward a leg. So this is just 4 radical 2 divided by the radical 2. 
it's a square, so this is just 4 radical 2 over radical 2. Okay? And yes, you can simplify. We would like you to do that. Radical 2 over radical 2 is a 1. Radical 2 over radical 2 is a 1. Final answer, 4, 4. Okay? Now this one, we're going to go toward the hypotenuse. That means we multiply. Okay? So hopefully you did that. It was a square, so we know the sides of a square are the same. Okay? And then we multiply. So now we have 2 radical 6 times radical 2. Okay? Now let's go a little bit further on this. Using our new skills from last week, did anybody simplify this? How about this? Does that help? Because 6 is nothing more than 2 times 3. Okay, see the pair? How about if I rewrote it like this? Does this help you see it? Radical 12. 2 times 6 is 12. 4 times 3. I know the square root of 4 is 2. 4 radical 3. So now we've got a lot going on. And that's why last week was all about Skill Builder Week. And this week is all about getting down and dirty. Let's get messy with the math. All right, if you need to in class, have a, a further discussion on that. Meanwhile, let's move on. All right, now, it's hard to beat a person who never gives up. Oh, you're right, like the Energizer Bunny. They just keep going and going and going. All right, now we're going to go to the 30, 60, 90. So if you look at your cheat sheet, we're going to go to the 30, 60, 90. All right, now 30, 60, 90, they're all similar. Imagine... All these equilateral triangles, okay? Take an equilateral triangle, divide it in half, and you have a 30, 60, 90. They're all the same, right? The 60 stays the 60, stays the 60, stays the 60, right? And the 90, we had a 90 all the way. Well, then, the other one, because all triangles are 180, they're all similar. Now, the other day... Mr. Miller had you divide the equilateral triangle, right? And we started out with a 2, 2, 2. We divide it in half, and we end up with a 1 and a 1. And we did some Pythagoras in order to find the height. How tall was the triangle? And we had 1 squared plus how tall it was squared equals 2 squared. Well, this is 1 we don't know how tall it is, and we know that 2 times 2 is 4. Well, we subtract the 1, subtract the 1, and we found out that the height of the triangle was the square root of 3. So, we end up with this 30, 60, 90 that has a hypotenuse of 2, a short leg of 1, and this height of radical 3. Okay? And if you turn around and you look at those posters on the wall, you can see that maybe this is helpful. Because we don't want to have to do this over and over and over and over and over. Is there a shortcut? And the answer is yes. All right? So, again, feel free to pause the video at any time. Okay? Because it's a process. We're getting messy with the math. Right? Getting messy with math. And when you get messy with math, it's okay to make mistakes. That's why we have erasers. That's why we're handing you this so that you can make sense of it. Okay? So, short leg, hypotenuse, long leg. Okay. So, on your paper, draw yourself a 30, 60, 90. Okay? And label the short leg, the long leg. 
and most importantly, across from the 90 is the hypotenuse. Okay? Now, pause the video and take a minute and do that on these two triangles. Where's the short leg? Where's the hypotenuse? Where's the long leg? Okay? Pause. All right. Welcome back. Hopefully, everybody drew an arrow because this 10 represents the hypotenuse. This arrow represents the hypotenuse. Okay? Now we need the short leg. And the short leg, have you guys noticed the pattern already? That the short leg is always across from the 30 degree. The short leg is always across from the 30 degree. So let's do that. There's your 30, and there's your 60, right? Because the wider the angle, the bigger the side, right? All right. Long leg, yep. Long leg, long leg. Okay, now, we got to get started. This is a hypotenuse. They gave us the hypotenuse. Boom. We want the short leg. Divide by 2. Look at that wall behind you. Look at that cheat sheet. Okay. That cheat sheet shows x, 2x. Can you see that? Let me pull our cheat sheet that is on that back wall right here. Okay. Let's pull this guy. x, x, x radical 3. Okay? Alright, I think we'll just put him right on top here. So, if I have the hypotenuse, I'm going to cut it in half. That's right. i got to cut that in half. Cut it in half. Just divide by 2. 10 over 2 gives me a 5. Cool. Well, now i got to go to the long leg. I need that I have the short leg. Got to go to a long leg. Just multiply by radical 3. 5 times radical 3. Okay. We wrote this so that you could go the other direction now. Okay. So this time I divided and I multiplied. Now if I have the long leg, boom, and I got to go to the short leg, I divide it out. So 5 radical 3 over radical 3. Okay? We're happy because radical 3 divided by radical 3 is nothing more than 1. Anything divided by itself is 1, giving me 5. Short leg to the hypotenuse. Short leg to the hypotenuse. Double it. 5 times 2 is 10. Alright. So take a minute. Finish your notes. Now, these take time. You need to get messy with the math, okay? I'm serious. It isn't until you try these that you go, gosh, that is fast, and I don't have to use the Pythagorean theorem, okay? All right. Now, you've got your cheat sheet in front of you. You've got your notes that you just took in front of you. Now we want you to get messy with the math, okay? So I'm going to ring the bell. Take as long as you need to in class because this is what we're here to do. Okay? Skill builders, messy with the math. All right, welcome back. I'm going to do these the Monty way, okay? But it seems like, wow, well, that didn't take him very long. Well, that's because this is what we do for a living and it's not as easy as it looks. You've got to get messy with it, okay? So the first thing I see, short leg, hypotenuse, boom, short leg, long leg. Okay, 
So the first thing I'm going to do, looking at my cheat sheet, is I've got a double going this way, and I have to multiply radical 3 this way. So 4 times 2 is 8, and just 4 times radical 3. Done. Okay? This one. If I double it that way, I cut it in half this way. So I have 6 radical 3 over 2. 6 over 2 is 3. Okay? Then I multiply by radical 3. Multiply radical 3. Okay? So 3 radical 3 times radical 3. 3 radical 9, and we know the square root of 9. We know the square root of 9 is 3, so 3 times 3 equals 9. Square root of 9 equals 3. Okay? And we never had to use the Pythagorean theorem. Alright, so thanks for doing that. Okay? We're already 20 minutes into this video. When you come back, okay, we're going to wrap this up, all right, in our next video. Happy Monday, Tuesday. We'll see you Wednesday, Thursday when we take a look at our solo activity and do more of this practice. So now your at-home learning activity is right here. At-home learning activity for this week, okay, as we get ready for, yes, none other than Spring break. I love it. Spring break is coming. Awesome. So, what did we learn? Skill builder week. Okay. Simplify radicals. Special right triangles. Special right triangles. That's your solo activity. For those of you that are getting a kick out of this and enjoying yourself, we did add some bonus problems. What happens if we put a 30, 60, 90 with a 45, 45, 90? A 45, 45, 90 with a 30, 60, 90? And then a couple of word problems. All right. See you on Wednesday, Thursday. What? Yeah, you're right. I'm going to make a separate video here to wrap up this one and this one. All right. See you soon.